Don't place a trade based on what you'll see in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Hey traders, John Howell here. Uh, today, uh, I am going to be walking you through gold and silver, a bit of an update, what's been happening over the last couple of days with that. Um, also going to be looking at the long-term picture as well too. We've got the short-term picture going on, but the, the long-term picture, I've got something really interesting to share with you when it comes to support. Uh, and also resistance uh, on that long-term picture, which are coming into play right now. Plus, I also want to share with you uh, probably two stocks. One stock that I'm already in right now when it comes to mining stocks that I really like. And then also, um, I'm also going to talk about, uh, I'm also going to talk to you about one stock um, that I'm actually looking to get into when it comes to the mining sector. One stock, guys, I really like when it comes to the mining sector as well. Um, plus, plus also we can walk, walk. Plus also I can just go through the overall mining stocks uh, as well. Uh, so guys, we've got a, we've got a lot of stuff that I want to cover. Well, <laughs> we've got a lot of stuff that I want to cover with, cover through with you today. Uh, before I do start, guys, I have actually just um, as you guys know, I have a private coaching program where I actually give I teach you my number one trading strategies. I'm coaching you every single week. I give you my scan. I, t I, t I give you my scan technology so you can actually set up scans to find these trades and so much more. Um, anyway, um, if you would like to join my private coaching program, I've just had two spots just open up. Um, so for some reason, I, it actually was closed, but uh, two people actually had to leave, or I actually booted them out personally. But, <laughs> but anyway, I had two spots just open up. If you would like to be part of that, um, then it's an application only. So if you go to um, getjohnshelp.com, uh, yeah, get johnshelp.com or there should be a link in the description. Go click on that. You go fill out the application form. I will personally then call you and we'll speak on the phone and we'll see if it's a good fit for each other. And if so, we can move forward. And if not, well, at least I hopefully I on the phone, I can just help you out as well too with moving forward. So again, guys, I, 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 the coaching program was closed, but if it's, but I just had two spots literally just open up. Um, and so only two spots available, guys. Go to getjohnshelp.com. Now let's get into the market. Alrighty. So the thing that I'm noticing right now when it comes to the good old gold and silver is, um, and, and wait till you see those two mining stocks, guys, that I, that I got that I got that I got to show with you. One that I'm actually in right now, and the other one that I'm looking to get into myself. I'm going to show you the pattern. I'm going to show you the reason why it's exciting, and uh, and I think you're going to absolutely love that. Now moving forward, guys. Um, uh, on the gold, this is the gold chart here, and gold over the last, if we squeeze the gold weekly chart up, big, big time, like we're looking at last 10 years worth of data, worth of data, <laughs> how do you say that? It's data, 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 I don't know, <laughs> where am I getting that, where am I getting that from, I don't know. Um, so the data that I'm looking at, the, <laughs> the data, I'm looking at the... <laughs> I don't know which one they use. I'm not cracking myself up. Data, 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 in, all, in a very short period of time frame this year. So things are starting to pick up, guys. Love it. And for you private coaching clients, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Well done, guys. Well done. Um, but look what's happening here. We've got a few major support lines coming through when it comes to gold, right? So we have this gold support here. We have a look at this long-term trend line. Let me bring up the good old trending line. And we have the starting point here. And you can see how it actually supports there. Got a bit of a support there and a support there. Look where we are on the weekly chart. Just below this... That's that level coming through right through there. See that through there? So we're just below that. So there's a good old long-term support level coming into that there. So that's support level number one in the market. Now looking at a few other levels of support, you can see how I have identified some sort of a channel in the market. And let me see if I can bring my trend line drawing tool up. So we have support, support, support through here. Uh, resistance through here, resistance, and then we have support through here as well too. You can see a big, a lot of support through there. So all I did is I created a parallel trend line and I snapped it. And as you can see, the exact same level, I then I identified a channel all through here. You can see how we had a bounce here. So we got bounce there, bounce. Uh, just a little poke its head back above, but we had a bounce. 
poke his head back above and we had a bounce. Then you can see here we had all this resistance level through here. We had a lot of rejection and support. We had a little bit of a, <laughs> a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year period. <laughs> Actually, no, that was just after Christmas, start at the start of the year. Um, isn't that interesting? Look, look what happened at the start of last year. That big flush down and reversal happened start of last year. What's happening right now? It's not at the start, but hey, we may be getting something at the, not at the start of this year, but something very, very similar. What actually happened almost 12 months ago. Oh, oh, isn't that interesting? I just picked that up. Almost 12 months ago, uh, actually just under 12 months ago, we had the same sort of thing. Big flush down and a big reversal. We've got a big flush down. Are we about to see the same sort of thing? Um, interesting. Anyway. So we can see the support level there and you can see also what's happening right now as well too. You can see if I zoom right in, this level, no, actually, you know what? Let me actually just create this. I'm gonna make this a different color. Let's actually make this purple and I'm gonna make this a bit thicker, like so, just so you can see the different trend lines. And let me actually delete this off the screen. Again, I'm gonna create, let me actually just move this up from here to here. So I'm gonna get there and then I'm gonna create a parallel trend line like so. And then I'm going to connect this up like so. All I'm doing, guys, I'm just trying to get the most major touches. That's all. I'm not looking to get it for perfect, but I'm looking for the area, right? And when drawing the support and resistance levels, it's not a finite number. It's an area. So I know if gold did come back down to this purple line, it's an area just above it, just below it, around this area. We could identify a lot of support levels through there because it's, that's what's happened here. So you can see there's actually not, there's one support level. Two support levels right here, where we are right now. And then if I go back and zoom back over my last 10 years of data, um, <laughs> I, I tell you what, I've got the data data in my mind. <laughs> data data, data data, data data. Um, resistance here, resistance here, major resistance on this weekly chart going back in 2012. But look what's happening now. Support, we didn't get a lot of support here, so but are we about to find support? So we could literally have three major levels of support. Is the crash over? What's next? Three major levels of support. Hey, I may even title the video that. Um, and it's coming really, really close. And if I, let me actually highlight this for a minute. Let me actually make this a bit more thicker. As you can see, uh, and let me actually make that a bit thicker so we can make, let's make, let's make them all thick, hey? Why not? As you can see, if I go back to my daily charts, let's actually zoom out to my daily charts now. This is, that was the weekly chart. Now I'm gonna go back to the daily chart and look where we are. Oh my goodness, this whole area through here is um, three major long-term support levels. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm saying, I'm, uh, well, I'm, I'm smelling rally come. I'm smelling Donkey Kong is about to come to town and I'm gonna jump on his back and away we go. So. One thing that is really important to understand is that if you're looking for a conservative approach to look to get into gold, um, I would say that a conservative approach with risk is if the mark if, uh, is not buying now, is waiting for a break above here. If we if we have a break above here, and then you'll have a stop down here. If the market does something like this, and then we break back up and we break back up here and we have a stop below here, that's a very sort of conservative approach in the markets. And if we do get that, we're probably gonna run the 2000. And then when we do that, we're probably gonna run the 3000. So uh, if, you look, if you're not in gold already, or you're looking to re-enter re into gold and you're looking for a conservative entry point, I would say that'll be it there. Have you stopped down, have you stopped down the below here? Uh, and obviously when you calculate this stop here, guys, like that there, that should not be any more risk than a few percent of your entire account. So if you're buying gold or whatever, that there should not be any more than a few percent risk on your account um, because you just never know, right? And then, and if it, especially if it's investing position and then let it go. So I hope that makes sense uh, when it comes to the good old gold through there. And a quick little update on silver as well too. Uh, silver has continued to squeeze up into its overall triangle pattern. Very, 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 very big triangle pattern. We're squeezing up. So it's going to be really interesting to see whether we do get that turning point coming soon. This is the weekly chart. Let's go back to the daily chart now and we squeeze it right back up. So it's going to be really interesting to see whether we do get some sort of a turning point here soon. And if we do and we start to get a breakout just like this here, um, if you go back to my yesterday's video, I talked about that trade that you know me and my private clients did. Can't believe that. Almost a just just shy like 138 139 percent almost 140 percent return in one day 
on a trade. Absolutely amazing. I'm just, I'm so blown away from it. Me and my private clients did really, 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 really well from that. So I'm, I'm so proud of you, coach your clients. And some of you guys that are just doing it by yourself without even, without even waiting for me to tell you what to do. I'm so proud of you. Now you, you're knowing what an amazing setup looks like and they're coming. So just for your private clients that are watching right now, be patient, right? Be patient. You just got out of an amazing trade. Be patient. Wait for the next good setup. They're coming. Um, so the thing that I'm seeing right now with silver is just that. So let's actually get into the two different stocks that I was um, I I like. Firstly, is the stock that I've been in now for a while. And uh, Heather, my darling, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The EXK. I like it, the EXK. Um, I've been in the EXK for basically since, the, since last year, actually. Actually, no, that's not true. I actually, I traded it. That's actually this here. So I traded, I saw this. So I saw this movement down through here. And as it broke, I ran up and then I actually got out through there. That was perfect timing. And I traded it uh, towards the end of last year. And then we dropped back down. And then uh, for my for some of my private clients, they would know as this market pulled back um, through here, because I knew we we're getting into some sort of major support levels and all through through there. I actually bought it, and it was actually it was actually you know pure luck that I actually bought it right on the low through there, and then I created an investing position. This first one here was a trading opportunity, um, which means I just got in and got out within a few, literally within a week or so. Beautiful profit. Then it pulled back. I didn't know it was going to pull back, but because it did pull back. I then saw a chance, I saw an opportunity to invest in it. I bought January 2023 options and I've been in it ever since and it's been very, very, very nice. So I'm expecting like that to come real soon, guys, when it comes to the good old EXK. Uh, and on that weekly chart, let's go back to that, let me blow that weekly chart up. As you can see that we're at this level through here and if I just create that level right there, in fact, you know what, let me do, let me draw an area. So sometimes the support and resistance levels are not so, they're not exact, but they're like an area. So if I look at the support and resistance here uh, as, as a band, I can see how we had all this resistance back here and a resistance back here. But if I bring it down, I also can see there's resistance here, resistance here, and also resistance here. So if I bring that over like so, and I'm going to bring that down like that, like that through, say through there, well then I know, guess what? Then I now know from this perspective that we had resistance, this whole area was a resistance level. Make sense? It was a resistance here. We had a lot of major resistance around here. As you can see, it really rejected that six. This is a weekly chart, by the way, guys. Rejected that 650 level. And then we've come back down and now look what we're doing. We're now starting to heed to the uh, to the upside even more when it comes to this level. And you can see that there's also, let me just draw that through there. So as you can see, we're now really stair stepping up and now we're getting into a, a that area of support and we're creating like a bit, what I call a bit of a space here. And let me explain what I mean here. So you can see I, I when the market does create these spaces, it's very, it's very, very nice. And you can see what I mean by space. You see this whole level through here where the market just rallies up and then comes back down. When it does that, there's a high probability that real soon we're going to start to see a nice bounce up. So again, guys, I've been I've been in EXK for quite some time now, and I think EXK is an amazing, amazing stock, um, and I like it because the trend is your friend until the end. And guess what? That trend is still there. Now, moving over now through to the next stock that I'm looking at, and that's NEM when it comes to the mining stocks. I think new, I think this NEM is setting out to be quite nice of a setup. We're definitely in a major, major overbought territory. So we have to wait and see. We have to wait and see what's going to happen here. Um, I'm not in NEM yet. I still want a bit more confirmation. But on this big picture, if we can start to rally up, and this is very, 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 very similar to what eBay did recently, and the markets definitely create these patterns. And so if I just draw that up through there, you can see how that we had this sort of a right. So we had this sort of channel coming down through there, as you can see. And now we've got this long-term support level coming up through here as well too. So um, it does look like that if we can start, uh, and I know this is, um, I, I like to trade conservative guys. And uh, as you can see, like getting down here is an aggressive trade because it may not go, it may not continue up. But if we wait for it to come back up again and break above 75, 
then we're probably going to head our way back up to 95. See, I like the, I like conservative approaches, guys. I'm a conservative trader because if I'm putting big money in the markets, every single trade that I get into, I want to be very confident that that's going to run on for a profits. Um, and so that's what I'll be waiting for is a break above 75 again. And if we can get that with this pattern here, break above 75, my stop will be below the low here. And then I would probably want, I, I, you're probably going to see this thing rally back up towards the highs back up to here. Now this is, uh, this is very similar to what eBay did. Let me share with you. This is eBay weekly chart. Look at this here. This is very, very similar to what eBay did. So if I can see here, notice how we had this pullback, just like NEM did. We actually had rally up and then we had a pullback. This is exactly what NEM did. As you can see, it rallied back up, created a double top, move back up, move back down, move back up. So eBay, a bit of a, bit of a bonus thing for you. Uh, I actually see eBay really like, let me just draw that up through there. Isn't that crazy? Um, I see eBay probably getting to the, towards up here. So I see eBay possibly getting to 80, maybe even 85, uh, maybe even 90, you know, depending on how far this thing goes. This thing could go burko. So eBay on a short-term basis is um, is uh, is setting up quite nicely uh, as well. Again, it's the same sort of pattern, you know what I mean? We're in this channel, if we go back to NEM for a minute, you can see how NEM is now in this channel and if we can get a nice little bounce through here, then we can see NEM has a really good probability of running through up through, up through there. Uh, let's go back to eBay here for a minute. Again, just a bit of a bonus thing for you guys. Uh, eBay. Um, as you can see with eBay right now, if I'm looking at eBay, um, I can see if, um, if eBay starts to get, get above this level. So we come back down. If we push back up, because we're at this level of support now through here, all that level of support. If we can push up through here, come back down and push back up, then that's probably going to start to see a very, very nice move come back up towards the channel up, the, up through there. So um, yeah, so once we break this level here, this 68 level, then we're probably gonna start to see a very, very nice rise to the top of this channel, which that's where that's where it is. So, um, and that's over the next six months, guys, not every single day, but the next six months. So I really hope this, guys, helps you out when it comes to gold, silver, um, and, and obviously the mining stocks that I'm looking at as well too. Once again, guys, I have just opened up, I just had two spots just open up to my coaching program. If you'd like to apply for that, um, then just go to get John's help. Uh, there should be a link in the description there. Click on that. That'll take you over to a page where you can fill out an application form. We will then speak on the phone. We'll talk about it. If we're a good fit, we can move forward. If not, well, at least on the phone call, I hope that I can at least be some sort of assistance to you to help you move forward in your trading. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.